Hey guys, I recently posted an image on social media and asked what it represented. It was a 3D airplane with a ribbon around it, and in fact, this is it right here. It's a nice Cessna 172 with a blue ribbon winding around the fuselage, and we can look at it from all sides. It's got a lot of detail. Now this image shows one of the left turning tendencies, in particular, spiraling slipstream. The prop turns to the right and the airplane moves through the spiraling vortex of air. It pushes the tail to the right, causing the nose to yaw to the left. Now, when I posted this image, I was kind of surprised that most people didn't get it right. The most common wrong answer I got was something called adverse yaw. Now, that's an aerodynamic effect that's frequently misunderstood. It involves a movement of the nose in the opposite direction when the airplane first begins rolling into a turn. The standard FAA textbooks describe adverse yaw as a movement of the nose in the opposite direction due to increased drag on the rising wing. That's the easiest way to understand it. But Rich Stoll in his Emergency Maneuvers textbook suggests that the larger cause of adverse yaw is the relative change in the direction of the lift vectors. Now these are academic issues, they're fun to discuss I suppose, but of lesser value than the simple realization that the nose does yaw in the opposite direction when a turn's initiated, due solely to the wing's rolling motion. When the roll stops, adverse yaw stops. So you roll to the left, the right wing rises, and the nose yaws to the right. On the turn coordinator, the ball representing the airplane's tail slips to the left in the direction of the turn. During private pilot training, we're taught that the purpose of rudder is to control yaw. So to cancel adverse yaw when we roll into a turn, apply rudder in the direction of the turn. Step on the ball so that the tail tracks the nose. This produces a coordinated, aerodynamically smooth turn. When you look at the turn coordinator, think of the cage in the middle as the aircraft's nose. The ball represents the aircraft's tail. In a coordinated turn, the ball is in the cage, and this is a visual indicator that the tail is tracking the same path as the nose. When the tail follows the nose, you have coordinated flight. So there we have it, the differences between spiraling slipstream and adverse yaw. Two completely different things, both of which are frequently misunderstood. But not anymore, right? It's just another opportunity for you to fly smart and show everyone that you're a gold seal pilot. Thank you.